Hey everybody, it's Adam with Fraser. It's time for another how-to video. This is a good one, how to service your MEP system. So it's actually really, really simple. We're gonna talk through it. So first of all, anytime the truck goes into the shop for preventive maintenance, you're gonna to want to train your techs and, and teach your techs to listen for bearing squeal. So bearing squeal is a really loud, high-pitched noise. It's obvious when it's happening. If bearing squeal is happening, that's an indication that the bearings on the generator or a bearing on one of the pulleys is potentially failing, and we'll want to diagnose and troubleshoot that further. It's probably time to replace or swap out the generator. Um, the second thing that you want to do each time it comes in for preventive maintenance is you're just going to visually check the serpentine belt system and make sure it's tracking properly. It should be centered in the pulley. Um, if it's not tracking properly, it's pretty obvious, but you want to visually inspect that. Um, also, I'll mention that when you're doing this, you want to make sure you have proper PPE, so probably gloves, face shield, uh, um, eyeglasses, and of course, you want the engine to be off and cool down. Um, so. Every 2,500 engine hours, this is where the more thorough preventive maintenance comes in. Every 2,500 engine hours, MEPS recommends that the generator actually come out and be sent back to them. They're in Garland, Texas for a refurbishment. Um, that process takes about two weeks plus figure a week shipping there and back. So figure about three weeks out without that generator. So they rec recommend you keep one spare generator on your shelf for every four trucks. You can purchase spare generators from Fraser, and you can, or you can purchase them directly from MEPS. So when that truck comes in, 2,500 engine hours, you'll remove the generator out of the bracket, put it in the mail, send it out, take the good spare out of the, off, out of the box, uh, off the shelf, install it in the truck. But before you reinstall it, you're gonna do a couple things. You're gonna inspect the bracket that the generator sits in. It's just a visual inspection. You're gonna wanna look to make sure nothing looks broken or damaged. There's welds, it's a welded steel bracket. So you wanna visually inspect the welds and just make sure they're, they're not cracked. Um, you also want to, again, inspect the pulleys and just make sure everything looks tight. Uh, and then, well, it's out, you can actually take your belt off and a really cool check to determine whether or not your belt is still good is you wanna look for obvious fraying, cracking, chafing, but a good rule of thumb trick is to simply turn the belt inside out to where the grooves are facing out, just kind of fold it over like that. And then in a one inch area, you wanna count uh, the number of cracks. If you have 10 cracks in that one inch space, the belt's bad, throw it in the trash, put a new belt on it. Fewer than 10 cracks, uh, you could, you could uh, put it back in, in the truck and, and reuse it. As long as, again, the belt's not like dried or chafed in other areas. Um, also, the bolts that hold all of this stuff together, when we install it at Fraser, we, we install torque paint. So we put the bolts on, we torque them down, and then we use an orange torque paint on the bolt that creates a line. If that orange torque paint is still in that connected line, you know that bolt is still tight. If the tor torque paint is missing or it's um, out of alignment, meaning you know, you'll see the torque paint in two different areas, the bolts likely come loose. So you wanna go back through there and check everything and make sure it's all still tight and then reapply torque paint if you need to in that straight line. Um, you'd reinstall the generator, put it, all back in, put it all back together, start the truck, listen for bearing squeal, visually inspect and make sure the belt's tracking pro uh, correctly, but you should be ready to put that back in service. Uh, for those wondering, swapping that generator out is like the equivalent of swapping out an alternator. So think of it ab about that level of work. Uh, and that's it. That's, that's how to care for your MEP system.